a Y42 space is a shared workspace for you and all your team members to collaborate in. This space right here is already configured, so let's look at all the different components of the space. Of course, every space has its unique names, and every space has their own infrastructure. Every space is connected to a data warehouse, a storage, and a remote Git repository. Let's check out Y42's managed GitLab repository, because this is the place where all your code is stored that defines your data pipeline. And if needed, you could always clone this to your local machine as well. OK, so let's get started. In Y42, you can develop your end-to-end -end data pipeline with three different modes. The modes are the data catalog mode, the code editor mode, and the lineage mode. Let's switch to the code editor first to view our underlying code. Our whole data pipeline is defined as code and stored in a Git repository. As you can see here, the code includes all the typical dbt YAML files, and you can edit your code using Y42's integrated VS code. But we won't be editing the code here today, but we will use the data catalog, which is a user-friendly UI, to develop the underlying code. So the first thing we need to do is we want to load data into our data warehouse. For that, we create a new source asset, and we need to select a source type for that. Y42 offers different Airbyte connectors, as you can see here, so that you can include a lot of different source types. But you could also just select your Fivetrain connector if needed. For this example here, we will select the Google BigQuery connector, and we will import some shop sample data. So I already did set up a connection to BigQuery. So let's just take this one here and let Y42 handle the connection. As you can see here, Y42 has detected some tables in our BigQuery dataset, and we could even select only specific columns if needed. For our example, we want to import all the data. So let's just select all three tables. And here we have now the connection to these three tables. So after we have created our source, we want to look at our changes that we made to the code base. So let's open the Git UI. Here you can see the new source configuration that we created through the UI. Let's commit our changes, and we want to write a good commit message, of course. When we commit our changes, the changes are also automatically pushed to the remote repository. Now let's take a look at the lineage mode to actually view our asset. Right now, we only have a connection to our tables, but we want to actually load the data from our tables into our data warehouse. So let's open the build panel for that. And as you can see here, we have never built this table here. So let's actually build it for the first time. So we want to do that for every single table. We could do it by clicking on each of these tables, but we could also switch to another build panel over here. And we could select only a specific part of the deck with a certain command. This command right here, it materializes the table raw users. When building these tables, Y42 automatically detects the columns of the table. We want to open the data catalog again to look deeper into the asset. Let's sync the columns to our code base. As you can see above, changes have been made to our code again. When we open up the Git panel again, then you can see that to our job configuration, there has been changes made with the added columns. Our data from external sources is now loaded into our data warehouse. We want to finally model our data. We can press Command K to open the command palette and select a new model. This new model is a basic dbt model, and we call it mod users because we want to combine our free source tables. Our new model is created, and we can edit it in the data catalog again. This time, we also want to document our asset by adding metadata. Here, I'm adding a description, gather all users' data, and a tag. 
and I could also add an expert. In this case, I will select my name here. And you can see the changes in our code again that we just made through the UI. Now, when we define our query, we want to make use of Y42's auto proposal. I will just paste in a pre written selection of our columns. By using a shortcut, we can auto lint our code with SQL fluff. And now we want to use the auto completion again, especially this one is very useful. So, Y42 doesn't only know SQL syntax, but also your entire data pipeline. Here you saw how the lineage has changed because we referenced a source table. I've already finished the code, pushed the changes, and materialized our model. Our columns are also in sync again. In Y42, you don't have to go to the data warehouse to view your data, but after developing it and materializing your code, you can directly view your data. So based on our sources, I added some more models to our deck. The color indicates the health of the assets. The yellow color indicates that the tables are stale, for example. I also added this link to this dashboard that consumes data from these two models. Let's add a scheduler to all of these models by adding a scheduled deck. We want to call it Orchestrator. The selector specifies which models we want to build. In this case, we want to build all of our models. Then we can specify the frequency of this build. So let's just select weekly. And as you can see above, even our orchestrator was added to the code base. So let's commit and push the changes that we just made. So now let's trigger the run, but I will skip the building part to make the video shorter. So as you can see here, the build was successful and every table is now updated correctly so that this dashboard could now be updated with the right data. In the next video, we will dive deeper into the Git integration. So here I'm opening the Git history and I could revert all the changes we made today and I could even reconstruct the old tables. We also use Git to create new environments in just a few seconds. We simply have to create a new branch for that. All of this is possible because of our new concept, virtual data builds. If you want to learn more about that, then check out our article or our next video.